Hello, welcome back to Sea Wolf Den. I'm Crafting Ron. Thanks to a comment on one of my unboxings, which is part of the reason I do the unboxings is because I like communication and ideas, flow of ideas, and someone commented that I should do something and I'm going to do it. it it's a great idea. I got 40k bits all over the place just because those will be part of this, but we have the mini rig that I've talked about use, making a walker out of, and I already have a walker. So he said combine the two. And that's a great idea. So we're going to take an original Kenner 1981 toy and combine it with a uh, Clone Wars toy. I think it's Clone Wars. But what I'm going to have to do, the reason I have this angle is so you can like look at this and its size, see that it's going to fit. It's going to fit up there pretty well. I have to cut off this and, and, and these these wings and uh, I've already taken this apart or taken the screws out and this comes off so I don't even have to cut that and I can use that for something else Take that off this comes out and then that's that's gonna leave that completely assembled and I will work with this part the center part and just work that into work that into that and I'm probably gonna have to cut out a lot of this bottom and fit it inside and then this back and of course the wing arms themselves may have to come out I'm not entirely sure how I'm gonna get those out but this this whole uh, thing a I forget what they called it this mini rig is completely glued together no screws no nothing walker was screwed together so I was able to take it apart so whatever I do to the mini rig it's gonna have to be cut and I see a way of taking these out I'm going to just have to cut right into there, splice what's holding them together. On top of that, I have a new pilot seat. I don't have a pilot in it. It's a pilot seat. It almost fits in there. Almost fits in there perfectly. So I'm going to make that fit in there. And add enough bits that's why i have all these 40k bits just to figure out what weapons i have left i bought a new set of just random bits from giant walker robot type thing i do have a gun i've mounted a gun like this on one of these before and of course we have a gun here underbelly and it's kind of weak so i may mount it mount this on there maybe stick it up I don't know, playing around. Cut the mini rig first and then go from there. So until next time. Here we are at the bandsaw. I know I talk about it a lot, so I might as well just show it once. And we're going to cut the mini rig, the AT something or other, I forget what it's called. Still haven't figured out what to do with those, but I, um, I'll probably do that off camera. But this has got to come off and these have got to come off for sure. Just A bit of a rough cut, but I'll just file it down or sand that down one either. I got it off and I, knew, and I have a new landing gear. Good, thing, good news is the that mess is going to be in the back, and I'm not going to worry about it. And there we go. There are the wing arms. Out they came, and now I think my blade is getting dull, so I'm going to have to do this in sections. And there's one item that may affect how we mount that is these uh, connecting pieces. And I don't know how much space I'm going to have underneath here to put that console, but I'll keep on going.
I may have to do the rest with Dremel and get everything. But maybe I'll cut that out and get some space underneath there. But not what I expected. Definitely did not go the way I planned. Uh, there was way more plastic under here than I thought. Port arm or yeah, connector. And then it was just... Still not convinced this is... I may cut that completely off so that this would fit back here. But I've got to get that up inside there somehow. Alright, we're going to try cutting it with the Dremel. Right. All right, damage has been done. Now can we use it? I get the feeling that I may end up having to cut some of this to get it to work. That's definitely up in there, but holding me back is this piece which I can cut off this is keeping me from going where I need to go let's look at, let's look at it for me I don't know how much I really need to cut so I'm looks pretty good I'm just not entirely sure I'm not, I'm not quite there yet for it with it gradually cutting away some of the plastic but I think that there's no doubt this section is gonna have to come off some I like the way this profile looks so I want to preserve that and so the best way to do that is to cut enough of this plastic off the front end of this. Alright. Take a little sharpie, get this centered. I'm going to go back as far as here. Maybe I can, I'll do this with the Dremel. I won't do this with bandsaw. It's too awkward to put this big thing on the bandsaw. It's not going to matter how messy that looks because this is going to cover it up. And I don't think I got it. It's close. Wireless Dremel starting to die. It's too much work for it, so we're gonna have to resort to the wired. There's a lot going on here. I'm hoping I can get this to work. A whole lot of carving. I don't think I can get it better, much better than that. That's in there. So I dremeled a bunch to fit this over top. The can't be the, con the console that's already there. And I did dremel some of the front so that that profile would remain. And other than a few places where I've got to cover up 
of the Dremling, and that's going to be made either through paint or through a 40k Greeble. I think we've got a nice looking walker, at least to start with. I, I just noticed the uh, canopy pins. I used to have one that would fit there. Got a gun. I may enhance that gun with some other parts. I'll cut that off. That's coming off because that's just too weird to put up there. And then I may leave these as a place for other miniatures. Let's test that out. I've got a miniature somewhere here. That'd be a great place for soldiers to shoot each side. That's great. We've got options for maybe putting a door. Definitely going to cover up some holes with stuff. But looks good. Just got to clean it. All right, progress report on the walker. I secured the mini rig as the head on the platform. Added some greebles, missiles. Uh, I had those missile pods forever and finally found a great place for it. Other greebles along the side. I also added printed, these are 3D printed doors to indicate soldiers can come out from underneath there and shoot over the edge like that. But the thought process behind that was if we have a pilot up here, why do they need a window here? And so that had to mean that something else is inside there. And there probably is a gunner for the, the lower gun and whatever gun I decide to put up on here. I'm still not sure if I, I have another mini rig, that flying fighter type that has this kind of gun on the front. I didn't, I didn't want to do that again unless I flipped it over. Maybe maybe if it was flipped over and looked, this looks different because that's the only type of big gun I have now. I have some smaller guns that might go on there. No, but I'm not real pleased with a lot of what I have. So I may just go with that. Or if I can get a mini mini gun from the from my final faction stuff, I'll, I'll put it on there. What I've been working on and trying to and this part of the reason why this is such a mess up top, uh, as you can see, I, I'm going back and forth on how I'm going to cover this up. And there's another thing I printed using a clear-ish. I, I made a, I found and rescaled a canopy. And so what I'm trying to do is cover this up and give support to that canopy like that. So, and maybe even have it uh, open up and close. So I've just been cutting stuff and experimenting. And I did cut off that shelf thing that had, I don't even know what that is. I, that off and I'm going to clean that up a little bit more. So far so good. I, I really like it. I mean, my goal here is to finish up the, the pilot bay and, and the canopy, put it on the front and then really just prime it. So, so far so good. I like it. I think it's going to be one of my better ones. I'm already kind of thinking about doing different, you know, I have a real hard time figuring color schemes. I may do this in military green. I have some spray paint that might look pretty good. So until next time. Okay, we have really kind of detailed this out. More greebles on the ledge, more greebles to detail out the canopy so that the canopy can fit right there. The printed canopy. Printed out a gun for the nose. I wasn't happy with what I had. I 3D printed another gun because I realized all this, all these guns, it doesn't have a lot of rear defense. 3D printed out another gun. Now I, I have some parts for this uh, in, in 40K or for something like this in 40K, but I just went ahead and printed it and mounted it on a piece that's actually removable. So I gave it a rear defense added some more detail in the launchers kind of to imply that it can flip over to the other side and fire in the rear more rear defense or more flexible more flexible missile launchers now i'm going to prime uh just paint it black primer and i may do a variation of 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 army green on top and then the legs may be a gray we'll see but i i i, I this was a great suggestion by a commenter and I think it's fantastic. I, I absolutely love this one. This is one of my favorite things I've made thus far. Utilized a lot of things, 3D printing, 
Final Faction, 40k bits. Old Star Wars with not so old. This is 2007. This was from, from the 80s. So 80s, 2007. Um, totally cool. I love it. Okay, progress made on the walker. I'm not much more I'm going to do, but variations of olive drab and olive green and some pavement. I'm going to probably dry brush it a little bit, at least on the metals, like on the grays. Do some touch up here and there. That's really close to just being finished. Still haven't painted the cockpit or the canopy or the cockpit much, but I, I really liked how this turns out. I'm just going to post some pictures uh, once I'm done and this finished product. Pretty awesome. I'm really happy with this. So until next time, seek the wolf in thyself.